Welcome back to the Power of Public YouTube channel. Today's video, we're talking X30 versus Rotax. So let's get to it. Welcome back to the Power of Public YouTube channel. You might have been following along over the last few weeks and we had a super popular video on Rotax Evo versus the non-Evo. Now we got some great feedback from the community, so thank, thanks to everybody out there that asked questions and posted a comment. We really appreciate it. And on the back of that, today's video is going to be the Rotax versus the X30. Now we do have the restricted and the non-restricted dyno chart comparison for you to have a look at, so let's get to it. So the first one we're going to be looking at is the in the restricted version. Now this is super popular here like we've talked about in southeast Queensland. It's a great class for the club day racer and there's a bit of conjecture about the Rotax versus the X30. Now in my opinion they're both excellent engines. The Rotax has a bit better longevity. The X30 has maybe arguably an easier carburetor to use for the novice but they both get the job done on the weekend an X30 won it, a Rotax was second in one category, Rotax in another category. So it really comes down to your driver, your setup, all the usual stuff. But anyway, we've got the power outputs here from the Power Public Dyno, so let's get to it and have a look on those graphs. Okay, so if we go over here and I'll just blow the graph up, we can see on the left here we've got our torque and our horsepower. So you can see the grid lines there. Also too, across the bottom we've got our engine RPM. So you can see the testing that we do starts here at 6.5 for the Rotax, obviously because they have so much extra bottom end. The blue lines once again are the torque, the two skinny lines, this one here and this one here is the Rotax, that's the horsepower, this one's the torque, and then these are your X30s, and that's the X30s torque and the X30s horsepower. So you can see our X30 RPM starts at 8,000 now it's got a lot more mid-range and top end, so you want to get up there earlier. So we run, say, at our local track, a 10-80 gear ratio on the X30, whereas on the Rotax, we'd use an 11-80. So we're going to rev the X30 a lot harder, and that's mostly because you can see here the divergence in torque from 10,500 all the way on from there, probably up to your 15,000 RPM red line, the X30 has more power. But the Rotax is geared lower, so it stays in its power zone for longer and has about the same terminal speed. So realistically, there's not a huge amount of variation between the engines on the track, but there is on a dyno. So also too, the peak power figures are different. If you look here, we're at nearly 24 horsepower for the Rotax, whereas the X30 makes um, 23 horsepower, but it makes it for a lot longer. So you, you do gear up your X30 a little bit, but then you stay in the fat of the motor for a long time. And that's what makes the X30 a really easy engine to race. And then the Rotax, if you're over the class weight limit, so you're a heavier driver or you're a mid-weight driver and you can't quite get down to that X30 weight, get yourself a Rotax engine. If you're a super light driver and you've got tons of lead on your car, you can get yourself an X30 and there's no disadvantage. And that's the beauty of the restricted uh, class. There's great parity between all the engines. So next up, we've got the unrestricted or the open class and we've got the Rotax versus the X30 again. Like I've said before, these are both great engines. Sometimes the X30 wins, sometimes the Rotax wins. Now they do about the same lap times, just the raceability. So like the X30 might come on a little bit harder at the end of the main straight where the Rotax is coming off a little bit and the Rotax pulls off the corner a lot better. So in tight technical tracks or slippery cold tracks, your Rotax is going to be your go-to. Whereas if you go to like a super hot sticky track where you want to gear it up and you've got some long straights to pass people on, your X30 is probably going to be the go-to weapon of choice. So if we look at the dyno graphs here on the screen, you can see here that we've got our torque again and horsepower on the left side of the graph and our RPMs across the bottom. So the, the strength of the Rotax engine with its pneumatic power valve and awesome engine package is this bottom is this bottom end zone here 
from 6,500 RPM all the way up to 9,000. Now the peak torque is about 23 Newton meters or thereabouts for the Rotax engine. That's this uh, little blue line here that you can see. And it's over sort of nearly 2,000 RPM. So that's that real hard punch you get off those slow corners in the Rotax engine. Now the X30 is a much more linear curve in the torque zone and in the horsepower and it makes it very easy to drive and very predictable and with the extra gear ratio it makes you get your performance from gearing the engine up hitting that 16,000 rpm rev limiter of the X30 versus the uh, 14,000 or 14,500 of the Rotax depending on the track. So the X30 with the extra gear ratio you obviously have um, easier drivability because you've got a lot of teeth on it. it pulls out of the corner revs out and makes for great passing on those long straights so like i said at the start of the video both the engines have their strengths and weaknesses and um, definitely in the summer months the x30 ha seems to have the wood on the rotax in the cooler months the rotax is very competitive and now if you go to a very tight track um, with a complex of corners and short straights the rotax seems to come up trump sometimes other times the guys just pedal those X30s so hard that it doesn't matter what you bring to the game, they're still gonna beat you. So whatever you've got, get to the track, use it a lot, and that's how you'll get to become a much better go-kart driver. Not necessarily buying all the gear, but make sure you go to the track and use it. Thanks to everyone that's asked a question over the last few weeks, we really appreciate it. All the YouTube community, Patreon subscribers, people on Instagram and Facebook, Follow us at Power Republic or go to our website www.powerrepublic.com.au, grab yourself a t-shirt, Micron 5, Rotax engine or an X30. Thanks for watching, see you in the next video.